Welcome to Quake 3D Tutorials. In the past video, we have created the snowfall by the end particle, and in this video, we're going to focus how we can render the snow with the Arnold 5. So there are actually two ways we can render it. The first one, if we want to have a roundish, kind of a little bit shiny or kind of distinct effect. The second one, we can have the snow icon on it. So we're starting by the first one. So here we are going to actually only work with the end particle shapes. So here we're going to it. The important thing is actually um, go always down to the on tab and put this one off. What it does if you're working with the transparency, transparency or alpha channel or glass effect, you can do it by this one. And uh, here you have point. The point is not bad if I just zoom a little bit in and you can find the render here but I have it just right there. If we take a look to the, to the point it's looking uh, good, it is not so bad but now we want to have kind of shiny effect or kind of, kind of other effect uh, so I'm going to show you what I mean with it. But if you want to scale it more, so you can use this value to do it. So you can see now it be bigger. But uh, if you want to use image or texture, uh, you need to use the quad setting. So that is what we're going to do. Before I go to rendering, there are also another thing I will just say to you. If you like to have random, uh, size of the snow it is possible the thing you need to do is first of all you need to go always back to frame zero and going to uh, adding a general things inside the particle and radius pp when we adding it actually from here is going to the particle array and here you can find it now right click on it, create expression, so we need to type, so now you need to type radius, pp is uh, rand, now I want to starting from 0.1 on to 0.8, that is going to be the maximum and just creating it. Uh, remember just uh, go always back and play it once again because it's not rendering and now we go to it. Okay. So it's going to be very big. So now I'm going back to the auto tab and from 3 I just putting it 0 0.2 or 3 or something like this. So now you can see some of them is very small, some of them is very big. So that is effect if you like it to have. Maybe it is too big so now we're going to edit it to make it a little bit smaller. But that is a way how you can random things. So maybe from there to 0 0.2 and should be fine. Make sure I always go always back and playing it once again because the render not update. So now we are ready to see it. So maybe a little bit bigger. Yes, so I think this one is going to look good. So that, that was a way how you can random the things, uh, the size of the particles. So now we're going to shading it. So to do this, I just uh, hide this for this, uh, for a second. I'm going to create, uh, select the end particle shape. You can right click and just go to uh, assigns a new material, go to the Arnold shader and AI surface shader we're going to use Snowfall So here we go uh, Make sure it is uh, applied to it, so just pick any color Go to the render very quickly So yes, we're having it So now uh, which effect we like First of all, here you can choose in which color do you like. You can also have a text or image if you like to. But I think I'm going to use 
kind of a little bit white, maybe white. Okay, we're just putting it to the white. Now for the specular, we don't need it. Now we're going to creating a alpha channel for it. It is better if we working on the high B shade. So here we are in high B shade, right click on it, graph network, and here we are. So to do, uh, I want have rule. Uh, uh, I want have a round a circle effect. So I'm going to use a ramp texture and go always down to geometry inside the opacity. Just middle mouse click and drag it. Now we have connecting it. Now we're going to make this to be white. and the other to be black and here you can see what uh, effect which texture we have I want to use uh, smooth and I want to have the circle so you can see it is it will not looking so circle so we need to make it like this so you're going to plain ground and that is very important only black white so if we go to the render times once again and render so you can see now we have getting very nice roundish and it is transparency so that is a way how we can make it like this one and now we want also to use the and if you want to have the snow lighting you can actually playing with with emission and you can just put the light to be how much light do you want so it's going to make it a little bit more lighter the snow so that is a way to lighting the thing so for this one I think I just put it to zero back again so now we want just uh, connecting uh, kind of this effect the important thing is you need to find an image uh, look like this now it is this one I have choosing uh, background it need to be black and the inside it need to be white here we are back to my again now we just deleting this so now we need just delete this and go to file file text and uh, choosing the alpha channel we have I think it was this yes so now we need just connect it, middle mouse click and on the opacity and here we should go so we just go to, to render once again so if you're looking it takes some of time so you can see we have getting this effect and the nice thing is I can go to the color and put other color if I like to but I just keep it to the white and I again I can also by the emission make it to be lighter or something like this so you can just play with these setting you want but if we if I just make this to be bigger so now it has rendering a little bit finish uh, so here you can see so we have the snowman and here we have the the snow so that is a two way to creating the snow and if you like to blending these two effects together it is also possible you need just have another end particle so in the next video we want to show you how the snow stay on the different object in the scene and in this one uh, in the next video we're going to work with this one thanks for watching